Uh, let's show something called the hunger fullness scale. I've never heard of this in my life. So let's look at this scale and uh, walk us through this. Okay, so if we were to rate our hunger on a scale, this is what it would look like. So one, we see starving, feeling uh, to the point of being faint. And then 10, we see bursting, painfully full. I like to call that Thanksgiving, you know, number 10. So on a scale from one to 10, it's good to keep in mind, you know, at what point should you start eating and at what point you should stop. So the one box that we're gonna focus on is number three. So your stomach growls and feels empty. That's the point you already want to start eating. Now, this is the mistake I find most people do. At number three, they're like ready to eat, but they haven't planned. So by the time they actually get themselves to mm. cook something or to buy something, they're already at a one. So it's already eating at a three. And then stopping, can you guess which number we would stop at, if you had to guess? Five? Six. Oh, so six. So very close. Okay. So stopping when you're satisfied and comfortable, and notice that between six and seven, there is a difference between satisfied and feeling full. So we want to stop at that, you know, give yourself between the three and the six, the 20 minutes, and feeling satisfied and comfortable versus feeling full and then uncomfortably full, and then very full and painfully full at number 10. There is a, a liquid version of the uh, Thanksgiving meal that's uh, important to talk about, right? Right. So? Alcohol? There we go. <laughs> so the other liquid calories that can be coming into your diet can be through alcoholic beverages. So keeping an eye and keeping the reminder of what is drinking in moderation for men and women. For women, it's that one standard serving. And for men, it's two standard servings per day. So what is a standard serving? Next to the woman, we see a glass of wine. It's five ounces of wine. So you may have some large glasses at home where you can put eight to 10 ounces. So that's the equivalent of two uh, drinks versus, you know, you may think that's one, but one standard drink is five ounces five of wine. Ounces. Okay. For men, uh, the reminder maybe with the football game too, it's 12 ounces of beer is one serving. Why does the man get two? <laughs> and the woman gets one. <laughs> ¿Qué es eso? What is that? It comes down to body composition. So men are usually larger and they have more muscle mass naturally. So their body composition can process a little more al alcohol.